is the hardest on themselves, and why is it Julian? <laughs> <laughs> this is why. She's walked That's off. Why. She's walked That's off. why. I'm the hardest on myself. I couldn't. Why is it Julian? Good call of you to ask, but also amazing. Yeah. Uh, do you well, it's funny. My boyfriend, he, I co-host a show and a podcast with him. He was supposed to be here, but we we like see photos of you guys. But you're always just like very tense, like. That's a a body language thing. That's crazy. Oh, it's not even shit. I see. Yeah, yeah. It's just photos. It's (laughs) just in photos. (laughs) You can tell I'm hard on myself by my facial expression. All right, we have. Maybe it's just because I'm listening to it, but when I hear five thousand little gay kids say, "Kill the bourgeoisie," I think I've done at least one good thing (laughs) in my life. That's so (laughs) sick. (laughs) That's. That's actually kind actually, of right. Yeah. I'm like, I want to get handmade quilt capes for all of yeah. the Appalachian gays. <laughs> like, <laughs> we all run fashion companies. We sell T-shirts for our job. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that made me so sad. Because sometimes I do look up at my ceiling at night and think, Am I just a T-shirt selling machine? And no. you were like, We all sell T-shirts for our job. I'm a T-shirt buying machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. You're like, what? Um. Uh, all I ever wanted to do in my life was be in a band. I feel like music is the language I used to find my family since I was a kid. I just want to say thank you to everybody <laughs> who ever watched me play and to these guys for touring in a freaking van and a Prius. <laughs> and like, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> thank you, Grease. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, everybody. I just, our team, our whole band, our crew, yeah. I owe these boys everything. I love you guys so much. You're the best. Holy That's shit. it. Okay. When I came out to my mom, it was during a fight, and she was cool. like, she, I did that too with my stepmom. Yeah. She, it's it's a classic. I don't know why I felt like it was like a, it's a power did move. you dispense it as like a, well, how, how about this? Yes. <laughs> like, well, because my mom was like, she had found out that I'd gotten a tattoo underage, and she was like, you know, you're always like, you know, I don't know, disobedient or like obstinate, like yeah. you know, disrespectful. And I was, she's like, I know who you are. And I was like, you don't know anything about me. I'm gay. And then my mom, without missing a beat, goes, I know. <laughs> well, Julian, how do you feel about them calling you the little one in memes? I don't think she knows about that. <laughs> we just broke news here. I'm just saying that. The little one. The There's- little Real-time reaction. Oh, my God, y'all. I know. <laughs> they turned against me, the people. You didn't give her a heads up. I have Julian beside me. Is that the question? I... I, I have a... Uh, I am Julian. Unpacked and got in the suburbs. 